Hello everybody. As you can tell, we're a little more relaxed today. Just got done watching, not just now, but <laughs> we watched Falcon and the Winter Soldier earlier. So now it's time to do a episode one review. I'll, I'll give the synopsis because yeah. Bradley seemed to not think what was going on. So what's going on is Sam is working for with the Air Force now. And then he goes back home and gets to chill with his family some and their families and some financial problems. Flip side, Bucky is having trouble with being back and with Steve being dead. He's alone because he's like always been brainwashed or fighting a war. So Bucky's dealing with life as we know it. There's also like some like other like criminal group that seem to have some like super soldiers kind of almost. They have like enhanced people doing some shady stuff. So like we never get to see Falcon and Winter Soldier together, but it's a good setup. But here's a spoiler warning, because now we're gonna go into uh, details. It's gonna break down the episode. The episode starts off with a crazy action scene. Falcon is with the Air Force, like I was saying. Oh, this is my brother Bradley, by the way. I didn't even <laughs> introduce him. <laughs> so Falcon, he's doing all this stuff for the Air Force. Flying his thing. We get to see Red Wing in action, his little and it looks like they're taking down, I'm pretty sure it's Backtrack the Leap, the Leaper. Is that his? And they take him down. I think they were trying to rescue somebody. Yeah, they were definitely rescuing some like It was like an extraction, they I guess. Had. Yeah. yeah, they had him hostage, so they rescued him. And then the guy Sam works with in the Air Force is like, yo, there's like this group that I'm monitoring, monitoring. And like, they're doing some shady stuff, but like, I got this app. It kind of tells me like what they're doing. I'm gonna get like an inside track on like, them. I'm gonna monitor them, monitor them from online. Yeah, because of this app. Because the app. Yeah, he has that. Like, cool. So then, after that, we hear the like caps words of him giving the shield to to uh, Sam. So Falcons like at some like they're having a big an event at this museum because Sam is donating Cap's shield to the museum. War Machine's there. I guess he's really the only person we know there. Yeah. Did you notice that when um, when Sam was like, uh, a symbol is more, like it takes a person to like wield the symbol is worth more than the symbol or something. It's like, but now he's gone. You can see it in Rhodey's eyes because like Rhodey just lost Stark too. Yeah. And I was thinking like, man, like, they both they just lost somebody like like you could tell that like what falcon was saying was really relating to a roadie as well but yeah they have like their whole talk about like why didn't you take up the mantle and i guess that's where we open up with bucky in the flashback scene where he's like full on winter soldier it's pretty yeah. epic it's like just kind of drops you back like in the winter soldier world of, like the winter soldier movie he's like ruthless murder machine Got the long hair, the silver face arm, mask. face mask, staying COVID free. He ends up shooting this guy. And that's kind of like the end of that. And then we see Bucky in therapy. So at the therapy session, I guess. No. And he had a nightmare. Oh, that was the nightmare. Never mind. Yeah, but it was more like a memory. It was like a dream, but I think, I think it was like a straight memory. He's in therapy, and the woman's basically telling him that... He has to be open with her or she's gonna you know, just write more crap down. Yeah, and he, he's like very offended every time she drives. Yeah, every time he drives the notebook. He's like, stop. Something about trust comes up. So she's like, okay, let me see your phone. Hands her the phone, ancient phone, still flips. Yeah. And she goes through his text and he's not answering Sam's text, which is like, you kind of wanna know like, what Sam's texting him about. Maybe about the, probably about the shield thing. He probably wanted Bucky yeah. to be there, maybe. Other than that, the therapist is the only person that he talks to. She's like, this is sad. you got to get up there and get some interaction. So it turns out he does have, like, a friend that he goes and eats with on every Wednesday. Like an older man. So they go to their hangout restaurant. And there's this waitress that uh, Bucky obviously thinks is, like, cute. So... His older friends basically just kind of like sets him up. It's like, yo, this guy, 
he digs you, Chicken Joe, Chicken Joe style. So <laughs> she was game. Then we get to go back to Sam, going back to his family. And that's when you find out they're like in this debt and they have like, they both inherited their a parents' boat. house and a boat. And his sister wants to sell everything. But he's like, nah. Because he's an Avenger, he's like, nah, I can handle this. It's going to be okay. And she doesn't want to get mixed in what she obviously lost her husband. So you get just kind of like some tension there. And then I think it goes back to um, Bucky's actual date. And he brings her the flowers, which is, she's like, that's literally like the most like old school thing you could have done. She's like, you know what would be the perfect date? Battleship. And then the older man who lost his son, which we then find out is the guy. Which I had predicted if y'all didn't know. Yes. Yeah, everyone had, but <laughs> I thought, it was obvious. Yeah, but I was, I was proud of myself. I can never predict Bucky anything. Murdered in his flashback dream. So Bucky goes to the guy, I guess. Maybe he was gonna tell him. Yeah, yeah he was definitely going to tell him. I think he was going to tell him. And then when he opens the door, he's like, oh, I owe you for pretty much the day. Homeboy's probably going to find out in the show at some oh, yeah. point. <laughs> we go to Falcon and his sister at the bank. And the teller recognizes Sam. So I know you from somewhere. Yeah. I don't remember what. He said something first, right? Like, LSU? You? Yeah, LSU. Yeah, LSU. <laughs> yeah, LSU. Play you play football? And he's and Sam's like, nah, do I really got to do this? And he starts making like little wings. He's like, and, <laughs> He's like, oh, you're the Falcon. He basically, it doesn't matter. He's like, yeah, well, you can't get this loan. Because Sam had blipped, and he had no history of income for the past five years. So the bank was like, nah. Homeboy from Air Force, he's like going to like check out this app. He's like going to see what's going on. All these people are gathered around. He looks at this guy, he's like, do you know what we're supposed to do? And I know this guy's like, mask for you, mask for you, mask for yeah. you. Can they all get these masks mask. that have this this handprint on him, which the app also had. And then you see this boy jump out the, out of like, I don't know, four stories, maybe like four stories, four or five stories high, jumps out the window, lands, nothing. So like, he's obviously got powers. And later you see him like, kind of hit somebody and the guy goes flying. So they're stealing some money. So like this whole group is there to help this person. But uh, Air Force man, isn't actually a part of him, so he takes his off and he tries to confront the dude. And he gets body slammed into the ground. And then stepped and then on. St yeah, kicked in the face and stepped on. But he had a camera in a pocket, a lot like this pocket right here. So he sends that video to Sam. So Sam's like, so all right, just keep this between me and you. No one else gotta know about this. And then his sister walks in the room. He's like, oh, Sam, you gotta watch this crap. He turns the TV on and it's the museum. The museum dude and he's like he basically says um like, we need screw hero. steve rogers screw <laughs> sam we don't care what y'all think uh the shield's not gonna be in the museum anymore where we've got a new superhero funded by the government he's like the new captain america and like this guy comes out in a very like with the big ears i'm telling you that man's ears like <laughs> And big nose too, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the weirdest smile. He's over there. He's over there. <laughs> <laughs> he's no Chris Evans. I mean, that was goofy looking. That's what he is. <laughs> Imposter Captain America comes out, and the episode ends. <laughs> <laughs> His helmet's a bit goofy looking too. I think it looks a bit weird. <laughs> Something about his face is just all off. <laughs> Dude, you stop flaming my man. What if he watches this? What if he's like, hey, well, I wonder what people got out of my character. And then he's like, hey, hey. The thing, what, what this man's got beef <laughs> for? It's mean to me. <laughs> you don't get me canceled. Don't care. I imagine next episode, Bucky yeah. and Sam are probably going to have to deal with Army Dude. Like something with between that, maybe something's gonna happen to Bucky, and Bucky's gonna feel like he needs to call Sam, or maybe Sam's gonna call him, and like now he's like confronted, like since he was confronted, he's actually gonna pick up. Maybe so. And I feel like next episode we're definitely gonna see them together.
and I'm very excited for it. Not as good as one division yet, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> totally different thing. Yeah. It's not really fair to compare. Ooh, that rhyme. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hit the game. Bars. If there's anything we missed, comment, and I'll comment back to you and tell you my thoughts on it. And check out our one division reviews if you haven't. And next week we'll have a new one for you for episode two. Like, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.